So, as you can tell, this pedal only has three knobs, so it's going to be pretty easy to demo. So, I'm going to play my guitar and twist some knobs, and then after, I like to experiment, so let's see what I'm going to do after. The knob on the left is tone, the little knob in the middle is level, and then the knob on the right is distortion. Let's begin. At the start, here's the tone straight from the power stage, no pedal. And now, what you've all been waiting for. I'm going to flip the pedal on and twist some knobs as I play. Let's do this. I tested the tones as much as I could on that pedal. I could only keep the level at 50% and I could only twist two knobs so there was only so much I could do. But I'm gonna do a test. I'm gonna now use the EQ on the power stage to try and make it sound a little better if I can.
wow, that sounds a lot better than it did with it just standing alone. So if I noticed that the biggest change in tone that it sounded make it sound more realistic to uh, amp or something like that is the presence knob. Yes, the other EQ knobs do drastic differences as well, but the presence knob gives it the feeling like whether it's in the room with you, whether the speakers sounded like it's covered with a blanket, or maybe you just have it too high and it sounds super brittle. But either way, that presence knob is the first go-to every time you EQ a pedal. At least it should be. Now, the thing I've been wondering the most this whole time is, I wonder how it will sound if I hook up my precision drive to it, giving it some overdrive. Well, I'm gonna do it. Now that's a tone I could be happy with. Like, I was expecting that distortion pedal to uh, turn out to be such a good pedal platform, but that's the point of doing these tests to see whether they're worth it or not. To me, this would be worth it if I was just jamming at home. Like, I had better things, so I'd use those for shows if I ever did that, but. If I was first starting out and I was able to get that tone from just those few things, I'd be so happy with that. So, would I get the pedal on my on its own to play with? Personally, not really. I think it's kind of outdated at this point. But, like I just proved, if you EQ it, it can be something you you practice with or something like that. Because that gives it a, a better tone than just the pedal. But if you use an overdrive on it, that... If you just want to use it for band practice or playing at home or something like that, I could perfectly support you on that decision. But... I wouldn't use this for a live rig or gig or anything like that. Those are just what I personally think. Obviously, it's going to be subjective to everyone else. So, everyone, leave your opinion in the comments underneath. Because I'd like to hear them. Because I think it's fair. I'm giving my thoughts about what this tone sounds like in my ears. So... Just for a conversation, I'll meet you down there.
but this is the end of this video. I showed all I had to show. So everyone, thanks for tuning in and please like and subscribe if you like this content. So stay happy, stay healthy, and keep making marvelous metal, motherfuckers.